Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Blank and Sales Show with Mark. For over 10 years, dominating the podcast world. Now sit back, relax, and get ready to have some fun. Let's welcome your host, Blank, Sal, and Mark. Can you feel the heat? I can't be weak. Coming from the streets of the ghetto at the end of the week. I get to keep your dinero. You're fast asleep when I sneak in your casa. Your life sucks because you're bankrupt and I'm laughing. You can't trust me, answer, because I'm Latin. Cheap, stupid. Yeah. Yo, too many try to tell me what I already know. So, hello, hello. welcome to the Black and Sal Show with Mark, episode number 501. I am one of your hosts, Blake. Uh, the biggest of podcasting, Sal is off today. He'll be back tomorrow to talk about WrestleMania and all that fun stuff that's going on in WWE world. And, um, Honestly, did you actually think he was going to be on this show of all shows? He did. He barely watches NXT. There's no way he would have been able to add much to this episode. But let's bring on my actual co-host, the man with legend, Mark. Dad, how you doing? Doing well. And it's that countdown time now. Soon it, it'll. Shut up, Siri. <laughs> it's not countdown time for Siri to interrupt your conversation. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's getting down to that where WrestleMania is just right around the corner. I know we're we're um for those listening, we are doing about a week in advance, but this episode will be dropping the Thursday before WrestleMania Saturday, which we're two days away from WrestleMania, which is insane. But we're going to be dropping Thursday morning, right before the big weekend of shows for WrestleMania weekend. But before we get into all that, Dad, what are we opening up the show with? I might have paid the wrong version, but what, what are we opening up the show with? Why well, cheat and steal the themes? Song from Los Guerreros. Yeah, and for I think people I, don't remember Los Guerreros, it's Chavo Jr. and Eddie Guerrero as yeah, opposed think, to Chavo yeah. Classic. Yeah, I think I did play the wrong version. I think I played the Eddie Guerrero version. Either way, it works. Either it way, works. it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference. So, all right, let's bring on our special guest. I, I, it was funny. This is only the second time he's been on this year, but the first time on with me because I obviously wasn't on the last time he was here. So let's hit his music. When are you gonna come from down? When are you going to laugh? I should have stayed on the phone. I should have asked to my own mind. You know, forever. I didn't sign up to you. I got a friend for your friends too old, but this boy's too young to be singing. Coming to us from that minute in Miami minutes. The one, the only, John Parker. John, welcome to the show. Hello, I'm back, whether you yes. want me or not. Yes, it was funny. I was actually looking at both. I'm like, you're literally the only guest we've had on that's not Mandy this year so far. <laughs> 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 it's not even, you're, it's not even our fault. It's how timing works. It's how the timing works. I'm like, I know you're available when I message you. So it's like, <laughs> <laughs> you can't get rid of me. This is the thing. If someone says, do you want to talk about wrestling? I'm like, yes, please, because no one in my life wants to talk about wrestling. <laughs> Oh man! So we're we're gonna have some fun here. We're gonna have some fun here. By the way, I, I gotta. I, we'll talk about it after I hit the wrestling control. We'll talk about it in a minute. But I'm gonna get plugged in first. i um, go pick up Mandy's book. I know I am available at, at Amazon, Barnes and Noble, and Orange Tap Publishing. Fuck them kids! And go listen to the Mandy Mandy show available on all podcasting platforms. John, get your plugs in. Go. Yeah, if you want to uh, check out my podcasts, I have Bat Minute, where we talk about the Batman movies. I've got Miami Minutes, where we talk about the movie Miami Connection, which I think about five listeners might know. And I've got Hedvig Inch by Angry Inch, about the rock musical Hedvig and the Angry Inch. So check all of them out. There you go. Very nice. And so without further ado, 
And now let's get into the crazy world of professional wrestling. So I, I got, I was listening to um, some podcasts while I was at the laundry mat today, and um, our dryer broke, so I had a laundry mat today. And I was at the laundry mat, and I was listening to the wrestling podcast, and it was brought up that I, I think Dest- the AEW Destiny Dynasty, whatever the hell the name of the show is, Dynasty is going to be on Thriller, not be our live in the states. Yes. That Welcome to my world. That is, Join I, I, my I, app. I, if that is official, I am so damn happy about this. Ooh. Like, I prefer yes. going to Thriller. I prefer going over there. So I'm really excited about this. This is legitimate. I'll, I'll have to know more as we get closer to the show. But I didn't catch this while watching Dynamite. And I'm like, that's it? Thrill- really? Okay. Awesome. If that's yeah. the case. I, I'm not going to well, go. Yeah. Dynasty, right? Dynasty. Yeah, and but I, and I, let I, me I, tell I, you, as someone, because that's the home of AW in the UK. Yeah, oh, it's on our it. it's on our free TV, but nobody watches it there. Come on, it's like it's like two weeks behind on TV. Um, that's the home of it in the UK. And let me tell you, it's a great app. I'm, I'm, this isn't a paid sponsorship, listeners. I wish it was. Oh no, I, I I'm, we'll talk about Thriller as we go along with the show because I I'll, I'll tell them where you can find the show as we're going along here. But like Thriller, I love Thriller, and I love the re- it's easier to watch a replay. Like, my whole thing is, I, I don't care about the live stream. The live stream's fine on BR. I never had a problem with the BR live stream, personally. But right. I can't watch back shows. Like, I'd love to wild. go back and watch Forbidden Door. And I can't go back and watch the Who for the Door show. Because it, every time I start it, it stops in the middle. Or stops oh, in the middle. No, the that's, that's I can't good. go back and watch the show. And that, that's, for me, is the bigger problem with me about BR Live than Thriller. Where I can go back Ooh. and watch, like, All In, whatever the hell I want, or whatever the fuck I want to, because it's on, I, I bought it on Fight. It's yeah, that, that's the same thing. Like I've yeah. got, I've got every single AEW pay per view on there, and they all work. And because I subscribe to AEW Plus on there, which is not much money, you know, that's how I watch Dynamite and everything. I can watch any Dynamite I want ever. I could yeah. go back to Dynamite okay, exactly. episode one right now. <laughs> that sounds like watching their every network was like Ron Spatdown. Like that's how it should be. Yeah, that's how it should be. You know, like... absolutely. And it's um... it's wild to me that I have that. But the country where AEW is based doesn't have that. <laughs> one would think he'd be you one would think, you know. So yeah. the, well, the other thing I'm I'm thinking because it's on thriller is Max, HBO Max, basically has tried the beta version of Leecher Report on the version of Max. But most of the stuff that's coming through oh, on there it is. Report, I, sorry, I just opened my thriller app. It is right there. AW.M is here, right there, there on the page of um it, it's the same price, but I, if I'm gonna pay yeah. the price, I'd rather be on thriller than on um VR Live. Right. So but for, for for some reason VR Live is more they're catering to the baseball and the NC two A. Oh the, yeah, well like NCAA, that. the NHL's over there. Like they could be our live. Okay, yeah. I have to explain this people that don't know the difference. There are two different BRs in the country. For some reason, there's two completely different DRs. I don't know why, but there are. There's the BR Live that we deal with for pay-per-view right. for AEW. Then there right. is the BR Live Attack at the Max. It's two different things. It's actually uh. different things. The BR Live Attack at the Max is for where, if you have YouTube TV like we do, and then that pays for Max on YouTube TV as an extension. Mm-hmm. For instance, the Devils play on TNT. I'm going to use an example because this is a perfect example for me. The Devils are playing a game on TNT. I'll then get an alert that it's also on Max 3 on their BR Live sports stations if you want to jump over there instead of watching it on TNT. And I've, I've done that before because, like, once in a while, the TV station will go a little nuts on YouTube mm-hmm. and TV, and I'll jump over to the other TV station. It's the same mm-hmm. exact stream, it's just a different station. It's not a right. problem, but it's nice. But, like, and, that's, 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 that's the difference between the two. AEW right. and not even, on that version. Yeah. Even on the Max app, it has BR beta, which basically tells you that's not regular BR. Yeah, so like that's the problem. That's the difference. That's so confusing. And I, I hate to rub it in, but the price you just said, right? I mean, I've you probably can't see. I've got. Oh no, it's it's blanking out. I've got it here. I've got it here. There it is. I can get. This, this is going to make you feel awful. I can get. I'm going to have to say this the American way. Dynasty. It's not how we say it in England. We say dynasty. Um, double or nothing and forbidden door in a triple pack for 50 pounds, which I've wow. just looked up is $63. But you're right here, Dynasty is 50 bucks straight up, yeah. And it's, it's not, it's up. a rare occasion where we're winning, and I don't know why. 
What? <laughs> We've had this discussion many times before, but I don't understand it either. We've never. Like, that's it. wild. They've started doing these triple packs on AEW now. It, it, every time, every. I would love that now. I would love to spend like 50, 60 bucks if the three shows were set for the next few it's months. Great. I would love yeah. that. Because like, I got I got paid yesterday. I'm buying that later. <laughs> well, there you go. All right. Well, speaking of thriller and speaking of things, we are going <laughs> through the shows that are not WWE related, WWE NXT related on this weekend of programming for the WrestleMania and um, Stand and Deliver and Hall of Fame. You'll hear us on tomorrow's show with Sal. Sal and as I joked on the 500 show, um, we will now tell Sal all the storylines by NXT that then make sense of the card because he doesn't watch NXT and we have to explain to him what's going on. I'm going to uh, make him watch GCW collective shows. <laughs> so, well, it's just funny to me how it works. Well, the funny part is like they just announced the main event of NXT Santa Deliver is going to be um, Trick Mello. It's going to be Trick Mello officially. And I'm like, I have to explain that to Sal because he has no idea what the hell that sentence means. <laughs> no idea. See, what the- I, I don't watch the show and even I go, oh, yeah, okay, I get what you mean. Like, yeah, because I still a, read stuff. It's know? a big deal because it's a non-title match in the main event. It's a lot. First time I've done that, I think since like Cole and um Tom Pop or like Cole oh, and Gargano. Like yeah. it's a big deal. And by the way, yeah. on the video package, I didn't see this week. Gargano and Champa were praising this feud as the best feud since their feud. Oh, so like, that's, yeah, that's, that's big. Lot. That's a lot to me. Yeah, so. they, <laughs> when they did the the uh, background. Yeah, it was a really cool video package they put together. Yeah. Yeah, for this match, but anyway, different parts. Yeah, yeah. for this weekend, for today's show, though, we're going to go through everything else that's going on because, as, as we said, over the years, they have a shit ton of shows that go on around the area. So, for those, um, so instead of going through it, we're going to go through everything that's going on at the collective Russell Con and a couple of other shows that I found that are not um related to anything that I just thought was fun because the cards are funny and then also <laughs> honor, super kind of honor on here as well that we'll get to when we get there. Um, for those wondering, um, all collective shows are part of the Thriller Plus package, Thriller TV Plus package that are, I think it's 10 bucks a month in this country. I don't know what the price is by you, but it was 10 bucks a month here. So all, all the collective shows are on there. And WrestleCon shows are over on High Spots TV for $15 a month. Straight up, all shows over there. So, um, and I believe, yeah. So that's interesting. And if you're in Philly, all collective shows are at the Penn Landing Carters and all the um, WrestleCon shows at the Sheridan, Philadelphia, downtown. I always love the fact that they do it at the Sheridan. I always have cracked up, cracked me up every time they do the, the, the WrestleCon. Wait, so, I was out with WrestleCon one year. He worked, he actually worked WrestleCon one year. Ooh. He got to like hang out with like Kevin Ash in that one year, a couple of years back when they were in Jersey. Oh, they were in Jersey. But I think WrestleMania 35 weekend. It was that weekend. <sighs> and he got to like hang out with Kevin Ash and things like that all weekend. He was like, you know name. what? Like, I Kevin know Nash people. Campbell. I know people like to criticize Kevin Nash for some of his takes, but I don't care. I don't care. I'm an old fan. I would want to hang out with him. Yeah, he got. He was, <laughs> he was like Kevin Nash's handler, where he handled the money and all that kind of stuff for him. That'd be that great. Kind of, yeah. and for two days, he got to do it for two days. He hang out with him all weekend at WrestleCon. Yeah. Kevin <laughs> Nash, to, to people's dismay, is is very personal. And yeah, we, actually, will... we went to a panel. We went to a panel yeah. and, um, and it was a roll a couple like about five years ago. We went to a coming out panel. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. He, <laughs> very, very personable and we'll talk to you about anything. And here's the thing. The man knows who he's talking about. He does his homework. He does his, his research. So it's not like he's just flipping off statements or yeah, things yeah. at the top of his head. He does his background. So And his big thing is college football so i mean if you're talking about college football he's got stats he's got all this he's got everything i was gonna say if uh, you want to hear if you want to actually hear the panel that we went to i didn't look it up real fast if you go um, subscribe to the blake and sal at the cons feed which is all our con coverage which i suggest you do before the end of april because we're gonna we're getting our we, we're officially getting our c2e2 passes are on the way we're in the mail on the way here to us right now no. but um i'm actually wearing my um my punk Danhausen shirt from like two years my first c2e2 Oh, that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. When they did the, cool. they did the, um, they did the um, processing tea stand, and I got a picture with Dan Housen that day. But, oh, I'm so jealous. I love Dan Housen so much. But anyway, um, for, if you go over that speed right now, the 2019 Wizard World Madison, the last Wizard World Madison that's actually happened because they stopped going to Madison for cons. Mm-hmm. Um, it's um, it, it's uh, that is that feed is actually where is it on here? Is a no hold bar a conversation with Kevin Nash? Oh, on that feed. So like, it's a really good. We were sitting in the front row for it as press members at the time. And um we got the cool part is we got to shout questions out from our seats instead of having to get up to microphones. We got to like Oh that's better because really when cool. you've got to get up it's like intimidating. But like dad got that like literally like shout questions at him. 
in the building. And he also got to talk about like this is when AEW just like was launching. So he got to talk about like he gets and he got to talk about behind the scenes of the original like AEW launch and like stuff like that. Oh, had like he talked about like how like they did the video packages at like DVD and, video and things like that. Yeah. Like it's really cool. It's really, really cool. And oh. then someone asked him about Scott Hall and he got a little emotional, but basically oh. he said that. Scott was a, a a great guy. It's just that uh, for some reason the demons kind of took over a little bit, and before he realized that basically he would have a better life without it, uh, he went too soon. So oh, there you go. So listen to that if you want to. It's part of about a three hour block that we did for the Royal Madison, but it's in there. It's really good. So go listen to that. Um, anyway, let's get to this. So we um obviously we're we're dropping the show at about nine a.m. I might, I might put the show a little up, up, up a little earlier because it had dropped about 10 a.m. Central Eastern um, Eastern time. So I might drop it a little earlier on Thursday because the first show is at 11. So I might drop it a little earlier for that very Oh, that'll be good. Yeah, get it out in advance. Drop it a little yeah. earlier. Maybe I'll drop it on Wednesday because we are recording this show early. So maybe I'll drop it on Wednesday. So maybe the show will come on Wednesday and it'll be even easier for everybody to listen to. But um, here's, a, here's how it's going to go. We have... um. All the shows we're going to start with the collective everything is in order of the time at the time they go on in various locations and we'll ro- I like we did a couple last couple of years we'll go around in a circle here and talk about the cards and run them down um these are not full cards because if we went through all the full cards we'd be sitting here for three hours even though it looks like a lot of them there are more matches that are announced than on here that's the funniest part there are more matches that have been announced <laughs> oh the rest is we don't even we don't even know probably <laughs> So I think um, I will start us off, and I'll start uh, I'll start us off with the collective with Defy Wrestling, hey. uh, eleven AM show, and um, the it, it looks like we have um, Kenta defending the Defy World Championship against Gringo Loco. I know Dad's a big fan of Gringo Loco. Yep, um, well, I'm a big fan of Kenta. <laughs> uh, um, Bert Fixin defending the Women's Championship against Christian Dora and Sawyer Wreck. And I'm a massive fan of Sawyer Rex. I know so. you are. I know you are. I know you are. Um, she's she's crazy. She's crazy. Like that's going to be. Well, Vertex and Trisha Dora don't normally do this, but Sawyer Rex's whole thing is just violence. And it's so. match, there's no rules. So there you go. Yeah. <laughs> she's like a kind of I don't know how do you describe her like a female John Moxley or something. Hey, I'll, give, I'll give you that. I'll give you. Oh no, yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm going to actually get my um, phone up here so we can keep track of, like, especially for someone I'll mention in a minute, see how many matches he has this year. Um, <laughs> well, also, let me just say, by the way, I play a wrestling video game because I'm such a nerd as well. It's like a really geeky game where you manage um, a wrestling company, you know, and I picked Defy. Oh. So I have a weird connection to Defy, oh, even I though I only that. watch I it periodically. That know that well, it, well uh, the other matches we have here we have um sovereign is, is um evan evan rivers judith Harris, and travis williams versus dragon gate true skywalker ben k and ho ho lun which cracked me up i'm not gonna lie that name cracked me up every time i say it oh uh, ho ho lun's great my ho friend lun. lives in uh my friend lived in china and saw him there like before he was ever featured on tv wow there you go yeah. um versus c4 x x c4 x KC, which I have no clue what that stands for. But uh, I guess it's for the team in here, which is um, Cody Chun, um, Gerlin Romez, and KC Navarro. And match, I had to write it down so we can keep track of his matches. Um, Chris Books and Kid Kaido versus Moonlight Express, Speedball Mike Bailey, and Mo. This is the first Speedball Mike Bailey match people have, and you will be many, many more to go. <laughs> we go with this. Well, I, I'm a sucker for Chris Brooks, so I'm into him for that. Like, I love everything he does in like DDT and um, and the commentary he does on like TJPW and things. So I'm a sucker for him. Like, plus he was part of Maki Ito's uh, stable. So, <laughs> so I mean, I've been watching TNA Wrestling every week since the rebrand, and I'm watching a lot of speedball. Speedball's all over the hey. show. And like, he's currently tagging with um, taking down Trent, uh, Trent Seven. Yeah, Trent Seven currently. Trent Seven. Yes. Yeah, Trent Seven currently. Speedball Mountain. There's Speedball Mountain. Yeah. Like, yes, no. <laughs> people. I'm telling you, this guy. You know, I, I, I'm gonna say this, and probably I'm gonna get chastised for it, but I think that he is better than Ricochet. Ooh, I think a lot. I of, can a lot see of it. I love really? both, but I think you might be right. You know, I, I, I'm I a big think... fan of his, and I, I especially love when you see people with um, with Vader Scott. 
You know, are they married? I was going to say husband and wife, but I'm, I can look. I don't know. I can look. I have those well. They're oh, definitely they're they're a they're a unit. They've been together a long time. Don't crack and up I just love seeing the two of them because their tag team's one. called Bird Law, which is a reference to it's always sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> um, on, on Raw lately, um, now um, Cole has been dropping, and I crack me up every time he says this that um, Ricochet is a Puma. Oh, uh, <laughs> he's been saying that a lot. I'm like, wow, well played, well played. That's an AP know you know moment. I like that one. <laughs> you know what? As, WWE. As opposed- Stop being cowards, WWE. Let him be Prince Puma. Okay. Well, I know what it is. This past week on Raw, his match. Oh, this is last week. Last week on Raw. Yeah, but like, um, last week on Raw, the match he had against Jaden McDonough was fucking fantastic. Because they're letting yeah. him be Ricochet. They're letting him be Ricochet. Yeah. So, like, it's really fucking cool. Like, they're not letting him, not really holding him back lately. Like, he's doing, like, stand. He's doing literally, he turned a kick into a freaking um, Canadian destroyer out of nowhere. Yeah. Brilliant. So, like, yeah. Like Although if I don't rock. see The Rock pull off a Canadian destroyer at Mania, I'm going to be angry. <laughs> rock do that? That would involve him do- actually getting up and doing something physical. Oh, He's got to get with the times, you know? You Super know, kick. You know, destroyer. The only physical way, thing that Rock is doing is he takes a dump. That's it. By the way, by the way we'll get more, more about The Rock on freaking Tomorrow Show. But it's answer your question, <laughs> people, anybody that's got our married. I'm ready to oh, there you go. There you go. Yes. Hey. So there you go. So, all right. Let's I, I love the two of them. <laughs> um, 3 p.m. over WrestleCon Stardom American Dream 2024 at, in Keystone State. Unfortunately, as of this recording, there were no matches. And I literally checked it a couple hours ago. There are no matches announced for this show yet. Just Whoa. Like, are, they, are they just banking on the name? Yeah, I think so. Because they, they literally are saying, we're there. Here's our, we're doing a meet and greet. But there's no matches. I thought that was really interesting. Plus, aren't they in a weird position where half the roster want to leave? Uh, it's weird. I, I have no idea. Like, <laughs> I, will, I will triple check right now, but I literally went to Stardom Direct Twitter page, and there was nothing announced. Like, nothing. I was like, what are we doing? We're, like, we're literally a week out. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> I think it's because the rumor is a lot of them want to go because, you know, the management changes and things. So I think they're leaving it open because they're like, well, I don't know. We don't know who's going to be here. <laughs> yeah, I did oh, I'm, I'm on the startup Twitter page right now. I have recording it's a week out. And it has ticket information. It's where you can watch the show. It has meet and greets and nothing. Oof. Nothing else. <laughs> no, no Julia? No, I know. Not, no one else. The, and it's just like a, a big group photo on who's going to be there. That's about it. Not, not even like a TBA? Nothing. And I can look at the only thing on their website is the lineup of people that are available for signings. Uh, that's it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's you know, that's that show. Um, so, um, you know what? I'll have, because I know this is actually be the, not so difficult to pronounce this. So, Dad, why don't you take the next show? Well, I mean, uh, Josh Barnett's uh, Bloodsport at. Well, it's 10. <laughs> it's 10. 10. But it's at 4 p.m. at the collective. Go ahead. Yeah. Shayna Beasley versus Masha Slanovich. Which, by the way, wait, stop, stop for a second. Stop right there. Okay. The fact that Shayna Baszler is on this show is insane. Like, absolutely fucking so crazy. That <laughs> would that would lead a reasonable person to think that, hmm, maybe Shayna ain't happy in the land no, of WWE. absolutely not. Absolutely not. Josh Burnett called Triple H and said, I'd like to have Shayna Baszler on this show. And he said, yes. That's, well, she's the perfect fit for blood. That's all it was. Yeah. That's all it was. He literally and, asked well, him, and he said yes. Well, now yeah. you now you've got like a like a you're starting a policy now with okay. I don't want to even say forbidden door, but a policy open door where if you're going to work with other organizations and trade talent, it's a win win. And it's not like GCW team. or what's more is a fucking rival. It's just a match show and it's happening. Yeah. yeah. On Thursday of North Rain weekend. It's not that. And here's the crazy part a lot of people are jumping on this thing. Well, they now she had a still tickets. The show was sold out already. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So was already yeah. sold out before they announced Bloodsport the is always a draw. But it was, it was yeah. funny to me that people are like, oh my God, like it was already sold out, guys. The show was sold out. This is just for fun. They got this one for fun. So, do, do you think it was kind of a situation where WWE said, "Well, Shayna, we're not using you at Mania, so yeah, probably. why not? It, it, it promotes it, it, us. Yeah, <laughs> it makes them look fantastic. So, makes them look amazing. And, and <laughs> you know, she's working for them, and she's getting paid, and at and least but, she's doing something positive. And that again, yeah. it makes WWE look amazing. 
Absolutely. Incredible. Okay. Like, yeah. And I fully believe they probably have a condition in there that she has to win. But that's well, not a negative. Oh, because by the way, it, she's deserving of a win. That's not I'll, like, you know. <laughs> and one more thing I'll throw out here is WWE versus TNA in this match. Because match is on the TNA roster. Yeah. So, WWE versus TNA at a GCW show. Yeah. Wild. <laughs> Wild. <laughs> Wild. And I love it. I'm, I am in. Like, and I, I normally pick Masha as my favorite. I love her so much. But like, it's going to be Shayna. And, uh, but nobody will complain. It's fine. Exactly. But <laughs> no. I don't, and we've talked about this in the past. I'm not usually a Bloodsport watcher. I know, John, you love Bloodsport. I don't usually watch Bloodsport. Mm-hmm. This card and this match alone is like, uh, you're not going to have to watch Bloodsport. I'm going to have to watch it. I'm home on Thursday. I don't have anything better to do. I might as yeah. well. Like... It's always good. It's always good, honestly. Yeah. All right, back to you, Dad. Continue. And then uh, Nick Nemeth versus Speedball Mike Bailey. Yay! Yeah. Is Mike Bailey doing that thing where he's on every show again? I feel like it. We're at two matches. <laughs> yeah. And one for he's, he's, he's here, there, everywhere. <laughs> and, and then here's a, a good one. Josh Burnett versus Johnny Bloodsport. And for Ooh. those people who can't figure out what Johnny Bloodsport is, if you go to T- Johnny TV. Johnny TV, Johnny Impact, Johnny insert <laughs> me here. <laughs> so. Johnny AEW. No, oh, Johnny Elite. He was Johnny Elite for oh, a Johnny while. Elite then he was Johnny, Johnny TV. Then he went right. Johnny well, TV. Right. interestingly, you know he's now Johnny TV. For now. Um, <laughs> well, they addressed that on, I listen to AEW's podcast. Oh, you do? I don't. I talked to them that a while ago. <laughs> they addressed that because they had Johnny and Tyre on. And apparently now... Well, well, they claimed all along, but I, I dispute that. But the, apparently now, the TV stands for Taya Valkyrie. Oh, God damn it, really? Oh, So he's Johnny Taya Valkyrie, because she's the, the boss. Fuck? What the fuck? She's in charge. That. She's the one with, wearing the pants, so to speak. Wow. <laughs> I did not hear that before. That's, wow. I kind of love it. Hey, isn't that kind of reminiscent of the Undisputed Kingdom? Explain. Um, uh, how so? Who, whose wife? There's no women in the Peter Kingdom right now. So, no, like, no, no. I still don't understand why Maria Canellis isn't whose in the wife. Group. I'm trying to remember. I agree. Like how? There's, like how, um, like, <laughs> Maria uh, Canellis or Britt Baker? Who are we talking about? No, we're talking about um the, 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 the tag team. Yeah. The, um, I can, my, my, yeah, my, um, that's what we're talking about. Maria Canellas should be with them. That's what John just said. Right. Is this in the one where Maria Canellas wears the pants of the family and he oh. took her last name? Yeah, in oh, WWE. That was a terrible storyline. That was a terrible storyline. No, I like the oh, idea yeah. behind it. It's oh, just yeah, the execution. Yeah, it was awful. Was it, was awful. <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> God damn, no, but so I, I see what you're saying, though. It's like that. Like when he took her name. That, that's the idea, I think. Yeah. Like, yeah, so he's, he's Johnny tire valkyrie <laughs> yeah because because tire is large and in charge and she probably kick his ass so oh, yeah, yeah go with it hey back to you dad go ahead and timothy thatcher crazy timothy thatcher and <laughs> excellent teacher hey and uh favorite Minoru suzuki yes the guy that basically can take any type of punishment you give him dish out come back and basically like not even affected. I don't know how he does it. It's Roy hey, hey, hey. I'm telling you, this guy, Minoru Suzuki, I don't know what this uh, level of threshold of pain is, but it's got to be really high because, I mean, when you see him in matches, I, I don't know how he absorbs the pain, but somehow he does, and he comes back, and he just... Over and over and over again. Yeah, yeah. yeah and meaner he's... and crotchetier and, you know... Oh, that meaner, meaner and crotchetier. Yeah, yes. And he's a a rare wrestler. Yes. He's a rare Mm -hmm. wrestler who maybe it's just me, but he can have it you know, he's he's getting a bit older, so he has very similar matches all the time now. But that's not a bad thing. Like anyone else did that, I'd get angry. When he does it, I'm like, No, no, I know what I want to see in a Suzuki match. Good God, he's murder grandpa. That's what he is. When 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 this guy chaps you, (laughs) it's almost very similar to um Glunther. That I mean, on a first chap, and not only does he leave a, a, your his handprint impression, but the blood vessels starting to burst, and already yeah. you're you're bleeding in the chest area on just oh. one slap. So we have one more match here before we move on from this card. 
And then we got the Blood Sport Tournament, Lady Frost, who's really coming up in other wrestling organizations, and she's very well. Uh, Maria Schaffer. Oh, Maria Schaffer, yeah. She's, um, I, I thought when they announced she had a bather, she was going to be like against Schaffer. I thought, I thought they were going to do. <laughs> the professor? Yeah. It would Lindsay make sense. Snow and is that Johnny Kai? Johnny Kai. Johnny Kai. Johnny Kai. Johnny Kai. By the way, Johnny uh, Kai is awesome. It's like Jenny martial Kai. arts. Kind Lindsay of. Snow is actually replacing Masha Slamovich in this tournament. The person of Masha Slamovich was in this tournament and they moved her to the Shana match, so they replaced her with Lindsay Snow. All right. That's, Makes sense. I remember they, they announced this thing and then they announced the Shayna Baszler Ross Olympic. Um, they did the match off it in. They might want to fix that. They might want to fix that. Like, so how does this work when it says tournament? Is it like it's two one on one matches and then I, the winners? I'm assuming just... that's what they did. They didn't explain it. And literally, the graphic they put up was we're having a tournament with four women. They didn't explain anything else. That's it's got to be because I cannot imagine how you do a blood sport fight with more than. Two people. I mean, right. I'm gonna guess it's in, two on two. It's one on one, and then in, and then the winners face each other later on in the night. I'm gonna guarantee. Yeah, that. yeah. Kind of like a gauntlet match. Well, the fact that there's three women's matches on a blood sport show is pretty damn cool. I'm not yes. gonna four, actually four women's matches on a blood sport match. It's pretty cool. Like, I you know what? Cool. You know what I'm surprised about though, because this event was originally the first ever blood sport was Matt Riddle's blood sport. And I'm surprised he's not on the show. I, mean, I yeah. thought they'd get him on the show. I was sure of it too. Maybe him and Josh Burnett don't get along anymore. I'm not sure. It's possible. I've never heard anything, but that doesn't mean you know it's unless, not true. <laughs> unless Josh doesn't want to deal with uh, middle again. Japan. Maybe. Maybe. Right, we'll, maybe. We'll on. I'll do the next one. We have uh, or back to over the WrestleCon. We have the traditional um, Mark uh, Mark Hitchcock Memorial Super Show, and um, I had to admit this show. I'm like, hey, what the hell? I don't usually watch this show. It's an extra fifteen dollars if I want to watch this damn show. I'm like, damn, what the hell is this is a good card? This is a damn good card. It um, is. Yeah. George Della versus Nick Nemeth. First of all, I mean um, that alone would sell me a pay per view. I, I mean, I'm I'm a defender of Janella because I love GCW. You know. <laughs> yeah. Um, besides with Tanaka, would I have not heard that name in a long, long time? Versus, and he still looks great. Yeah. Versus Josh Alexander representing TNA. <laughs> um. W- w- I, well, who the hell booked this one? Rob Van Dam versus Speedball Mike Bailey. What? It, is this controversial? I think maybe like Speedball is the new Van Dam. Yeah, it was funny for it in a minute. Um, Speedball's on two cards at the same time within an hour. So I'm assuming this match opens the show. I'm going to assume this match opens the show here. Because of how I, the cards I just think up here. Speedball's got that Van Dam kind of vibe and I energy. That. And, you know, and, and like, yeah, very laid back at times, too. Yeah. Really? yeah, yeah, not a stoned, but you know. <laughs> um, and also a match that what the fuck is going on here? Philadelphia Street Fight, Sammy Callahan taking up Paul Walker Hauser. What? Yeah, Hauser wrestling again. <laughs> okay, wait. A minute. Our, our 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 quote unquote friend Sammy Callahan. Why the fuck is Sam? Why is Paul Walker wrestling again? This is weird. <laughs> I kind of like that he's getting into it, but it, it does get a bit like... Why are you doing this? Like, I don't understand it. Yeah. Like, okay. you had Especially Sammy Callahan. I get the back her door to You had this whole thing. I don't understand this match at all. No idea how we got here and why. Over oh, here. No. And then there is this random tag match. I'm like, okay. Team Sam, oh, um, Mystico. Um, I'm going to see if I can pronounce this right without asking. Um, I already know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but... Fuck it. Barbaro, I can't do this one. This one's hard for me. Um, Barbaro Cavanaro, yeah. Thank you. I think. Julio maybe, Jr. Yeah. and Star Jr. versus Team Driving Gate, Dragon Kid, Shun Skywalker, Hornerman, and, and yeah. Jesus Christ, I'm having my problems today. Part of, okay. fun, part of the fun for this for me is, is pronouncing names. That's hard yeah. to fun for me here. Um, Hornerman and Ben K and Yano, this is going to be fun. Holy fuck, this is going to be fun. I, I hope what? this is happening. Because of all the happenings going on with the CML album, CML passport issue going on, I hope this match is still. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, I mean, uh-huh. AEW was basically touting, you know, CML, and they had their guys come in and and challenge. So, which made no sense. Get- I'm sorry, I we talked we talked high about AEW. That whole thing made no sense to me. <laughs> oh, no, I agree. As an AEW fan, I'll agree with you. Like they they I, could have done a lot better at bigging those guys up. You know, I I, I think it was. They just did it because they wanted to get these guys' exposure, and he did. But do better. Do better. But, yeah. I, 
when when your your main star, you know, uh, uh, Iko de Vinkingo is injured, and you oh yeah, but no 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 wrong. Vinkingo's triple A, not Steven Molo. Oh, true. Do no, not, but he was in no, CMLL. No, 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 no. Do not correct this one. I have to stay to correct on this one. Because if, okay. if it gets out there, you're saying Vikingo like, CMLL, you okay. will get shit for it. He was always okay. in AAA. I'm just throwing okay. it out there. I'm going okay. to get hell. I'm trying to protect your ass so, on this one. This okay, company. okay. This well, you, on you've, got, you've, got a, you've got a superstar like that that's injured, and then you bring in CMLL to kind of fill up the void. And you've got to give the people, the fans, background these guys. I agree. Because, you know, if you bring them in cold, no one knows what the hell... But the funny part is, you no. have a built-in Mystico. Everyone in America knows who Mystico is because of Sin Cara. Like, everyone knows who yeah. he is. All you have to say is, formerly Sin Cara in WWE. Yeah. And everyone right. knows who he is. Like, everyone knows who that is. Right. So, and I defend oh. it... And I then, defend it when they don't promote like a lot of stuff about the New Japan guys because AEW is essentially a spin-off of New Japan. That's where it came from. But a lot of people weren't watching CMLL. Exactly. You know? Exactly. <laughs> and even with New Japan, I mean, we you have had this argument many a time when it comes to New Japan. You still got to do a better job for be- to bring in new people. Like you're trying to grow the audience. The ratings suck in this country right now. The ratings for AEW is terrible in the, in the country right now. You need something to move up the ratings a little bit. Like, and hopefully someone like a Will Ospreay, who is the fucking biggest star in the company right now. I don't expect like, out of nowhere. I was shocked at that. I mean, I love him, but I didn't expect that. <laughs> He's been fantastic. Uh, I and I told CJ, I now get it. I now understand why you love this man. So yeah, much. like I get it, like, but like well, and all of a sudden it, these greater promos as well. Where did that come who, from? That one coming? <laughs> yeah. Who that coming, bro? Oh. Sorry, that one coming. But, yeah, we'll talk about more more when we get to Dynasty. But the, like the uh, the the nickname Ariel Assassin fits him perfectly. Exactly. So anyway, yeah. yeah. Back to let's get back to this. Um, let's jump back over to the collective. John, your next show is the 8 p.m. collective show. Yeah, 8 p.m. the collective DDT goes philadelphia and you know what i'm gonna break tradition i'm gonna go bottom to top i'm gonna save the best for last so um even me as someone who watches ddt i won't know all of these names okay because i don't watch it every single week but we've got canon and daisuke sasaki versus nick wayne and takeshi masada now nick wayne i love nick wayne because i saw him in gcw you don't get to see him a lot in AEW. So any AEW fans who are a little bit intrigued, watch this match at least, because you'll get to see a lot more of what he normally does. Like I know at the moment in AEW he's kind of learning and things, but and he's also hanging, he's also like lined up with Christian and all kind of stuff. So Yeah, there's things going on. So if you're a bit like, okay, I'm intrigued by him, watch this. He's gonna go over the top. <laughs> uh, Literally. Was... Oh almost definitely. Yeah, that is that is shtick. I mean that's why he fits in AEW, flippy, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and we've also got Kazuki Hirata versus Yoshihiko, who is the um how do I describe Yoshihiko? The Why well, gave you this one? Can I do exactly what you're wrong with this last year? It's why I gave you this one. <laughs> <laughs> so Yoshihiko is the um the doll, let's say. The inanimate human doll who uh surprisingly have some of the best matches on the card every time like there was a match where yoshihiko took on speedball and that was incredible <laughs> speedball. I thought it was fair. It was speedball. <laughs> but yoshihiko almost always wins so. <laughs> okay, so are we talking like a sex doll yeah. Um, similar, similar. yeah, I, kind of similar. I saw last year too. Like, what the fuck am I watching? But Yoshiko is kind of like weighted, so it's a bit more like being with a person. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> it's intriguing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and we've got uh, Tetsuya Endo versus um, Andrew the Giant. I actually don't know who this is. Who Maybe they're I? in DDT. I, have, I looked it up. I'm like, what? I'm gonna think, what? <laughs> Are they in DDT the right now? Andrew, yeah, if you Google it, you just get Andre. So... <laughs> it was, it was on, on the Game Changer wrestling side, so I, I just going up with the card set. So like it's on their side. I've not been. I've I've been a little bit behind with some of the shows, so maybe I've missed who this is. I assume it's someone else using a different name for this, you know, for a few weeks or something. <laughs> um, but Endo's great, so that's going to be good. Uh, but then we've got we're going a bit old school here because we've got Kanosuke Takeshita 
against Shunma Katsumata. And when Takeshita was in DDT, he was always called like, oh, this is DDT's Okada. And now the world's getting to see it, you know. So now he's coming back. He's on a bigger level than ever. It's gonna, This is going to be awesome. This is going to be really, really cool. Because he had great matches in DDT before he ever came to America. Uh, and then we've got, as well, one of one of DDT's top guys, Yuki Ueno, taking on Speeple Mike Bailey. <laughs> I don't know how the blue hell he's going to do a 7 o'clock show and then, do, and then come back and get over here for this show. I have no idea how that's going to work. I need to know how close the Penn Landing Charters and the Shaded Charity Philadelphia Downtown Hotel are to make this yeah, work. <laughs> even if it's close, the fact it's only going to be like I mean, even if he's on the first match on WrestleCon and then the like towards the end of the this one, that's still got to be so physically really, training. I, he's already done like two other matches. This is his fourth match already of the day. It'll be his fourth match of the day. Just, <laughs> I feel for him. I don't know why he does. At least he only does it once a year. <laughs> well, you know, that's because I think he's probably keeping Red Bull in business. Oh, he's got to be absolutely. Well, it's the only he, way. Jimmy Callahan used to be this guy. Where they used to have like him jump around and he used to do all these shows and now it's now it's people. Bye. Yeah, yeah, you've got to rotate. You used to have Janella doing it quite a lot as well, not to this degree, but he did it quite a lot. Um, but then we have the DDT Universal Championship match, no rules. Mao, who is great, up against Billy Starks. I was surprised about this matchup too. I was like, "Whoa!" Yeah. Is... I mean, it, it kind uh... of fits into DDT's thing because DDT is just crazy. I mean, uh... the, a champion in DDT once was the Young Bucks autobiography. The book was the champion. <laughs> <laughs> I was been thrown out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> the, the book, on the book fell on on. It's the um, he, uh, what's it called? The Iron Man heavy metal weight. Yeah, I remember we talked about this last year. I remember this. Now. Yeah, yeah. So the book fell on someone, and, and that was a pin. Um, so that you know, one, that D- one got me. They got me on that one. <laughs> DDT is pretty wild, but this was just like, what? and and no holds barred, no rules. You know, anything goes. Holy crap! <laughs> wow. So I do know. love Billy Starks though. So you know, it's going to be good. Mao's great. Good, uh, good duo there. Um, so Lab- we'll- ladder, table, and chairs. There you go. You go. Yay. Moving on, we'll jump over to the um I always love the new midnight shows. Eleven fifty nine PM I back at the collective dad just so you can have this one. Hey, the collective the uh, GCW JCW versus the world. And we got the G E C W World Championship. Massa Slavovich versus Shuri? 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 Not Siri, Shuri. Sure. Uh, Siri. Yes, yeah, I was right. Fury, I was right. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Am I? Okay, never mind. I was gonna say Cabbage Patch Daddies, but it's not. Garbage, it's garbage <laughs> Daddy. I have a... <laughs> garbage, garbage Daddies. Hugs Price and Cole Redrick. and one called Manders. One called Manders <laughs> versus astronauts. <laughs> I love doing this to dad every year. <laughs> You're cruel. Abe and Taku and Rina. Astronauts? <laughs> okay, time out. It's not time gravity. Who, who, <laughs> there's an opportunity here. Who, there's an opportunity. Who picks out these team names? I swear to God. Oh, God. I, <laughs> so funny. I do all the work to type this shit out, so I have to have some fun on the air. I have to have some fun. <laughs> Astronauts, <laughs> garbage daddies. What the hell? I love are, it. Whoever's doing this card, are they sober? It's a midnight <laughs> show. It's a midnight Probably show. Not. No one's gonna be sober watching it. <laughs> That's true. Who cares? And plus, it's like you know the JCW's kind of. Wait till we get to the eleven fifty nine show on Sunday on Sunday night. Wait till we get to that show. <laughs> so then next we got Jordan Oliver versus. LG blank? I did blank. I did blank. That one I actually know. That one I actually heard that name before. And then here we go. Los Desperados, Gringo Loco, Aries, and Latigo versus Team Dragon Gate of Yamamoto, Dragon Kid, and Sherry Skywalker. Maybe it's related to Luke Skywalker. Oh my God. And that is the end of Thursday night. We'll get to Friday. 
Um, I'll do the collection. Oh, oh, yeah. I'll give this one because I know how much um, John's better at pronouncing these crazy names than we are. So let's jump over to the collective, the 11 a.m. collective show. Go ahead, John. Well, I've got a. Oh, it's not showing up on camera. I've got a yeah, Tokyo Joshi t shirt. We see it barely, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, Tokyo Joshi Pro Wrestling live in Philly. That, that, that blew my mind. Because they're, you know, even in Japan, they're a little bit smaller than like Stardom and things. So I was very excited by this. You've got Billy Starks versus Hyper Misao. Hyper Misao, I'm a, I'm a big fan. Hyper Misao always does matches that are like a bit crazy and silly and just over the top. Uh, she thinks she's a superhero, but she's not. <laughs> and she's actually evil. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. Like a superhero in training? Kind of, but... but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it all, but she always breaks the rules and stuff, thinking that she's not breaking the rules. She thinks she's upholding justice, you know. Um, and we've got Mizuki and Vert Vixen against Pom Harajuku and Max the Impaler, no, which is the craziest that. tag team of all time because Pom Harajuku is like, oh, she's all sweet and cute and mild. Then Max the Impaler, you know, is just brutal. I know how much you love them. So, like, <laughs> yeah, Max is the best. Love Max, love Max. And then we've got uh, Rio. Not Riho. Not Riho. Who did used I to be sure. in. I had to make yeah. sure I was right. I had to double check that myself, actually. But I, I had to make sure it's a person. It's not Rio. It's Riho. Not Riho. That one that's every AEW. This is a different yeah. Riho. I had to double check myself. Yeah. I had to double check myself. And confusing matters more. Riho used yeah. to be in TJPW. So it's like, okay. That's this not is confusing Rio. at all. That's not confusing. <laughs> Against Shoko Nakajima. And then, oh, this is the one for me. This is the one for me. Two of my favorites are in this match. You've got Miyu Yamashita and Maki Ito, the tag team called Want a Million, taking on Miyu Watanabe and Rika Tatsumi. I mean, I, I just always have to pick Ito and Yamashita. So, I mean, I'm going with it. If anybody beats them, I'm angry. I turn the show off. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Two of my absolute favorites ever. Wait till later. We'll have we'll have more from Maki Ito later. Oh yeah. Show. We'll have more from Maki Ito later. Um. So next show, this is a one. This is a show that I was going through WrestleMania weekend shows, and I'm like, I wonder if they're doing anything at the 2300 Arena, which is not that far away from all the venues. And I'm like, of course, there's a company doing something at the 2300 Arena. These shows are going to be available on RF Video um, streaming service. I didn't know RF Video had a streaming service, but apparently they do. Didn't know that. I, that's, a, that's news to me. <laughs> didn't know that until like, literally yesterday when I was just looking at the streaming service for the show. Because I didn't know until literally yesterday. But um, this is... RF Video. And now, yeah. you know what? I want to let Dad do this one because this is a fun card. I know he's going to have fun with this one and he'll know oh, about every single person on here. I guarantee right. you everybody on here. BCW World Championship. All right, all right. What's the name of the show? We didn't get that yet. Born to Die. Yeah, Battleground Championship Wrestling. This is one of two shows for them this weekend. And these cards are nuts. So I'm like, I, this is going to be fun just to go through. If they don't play Lana Del Rey's song, Born to Die, at this show, I'm going to be very angry. Even though it's not wrestling music. <laughs> yeah. So we've got the Brian Kendrick going against Lindsay Dorado. And we've got number one contenders match, Lance Ionai, which is related to the bloodline. Yeah, there's about 500 of them. <laughs> Give or take. Give or take here and there. Versus, versus Rich Swan. Oh, yeah. Love Rich Swan. I, great guy. And, and I'm hoping this, this Rich wins, but you know how it's going to go. Denny Moe versus Miranda Gordy. PCO, yeah, my yeah. buddy. John. Versus yeah, Jacob Tattoo versus Matt Riddle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John, this one's for you. Hey. Hey. Yeah, Dad, 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 Dad. Here's the problem. I'm literally yeah. saying, John, this is for you. I'm playing something for him, and you're not hearing me. I'm literally doing a bit here, and you're not listening. <laughs> Oh, ah, <laughs> okay. makes it funnier. Yeah. Okay. Hey, let, me, let me, let me, okay, go ahead. <laughs> John, this song is for you. Take me to the finish line. All my heart, it breaks every step that I take. But I'm open at the gates. They'll tell me that you're mine. 
Fucking John wanted Lana Del Rey born to born to die. So I thought right. born to die. <laughs> when I ask you deliver. <laughs> you, you, you found it. Wow. Yeah, that was really quick. So yeah, back to what you were talking. Where, where, where were we before I started doing that? Was it on the uh, juicy, you know juicy finale versus wrecking ball Ligurski? Sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, by the way, I, I, didn't, I, I didn't get a comment. PTO. Jacob Petru and Matt Riddle is fucking crazy. I think it's a comment on that because it's the look at the saga. But it's fucking I'm still surprised the person they left out here was Sammy Callahan. It sounds like it, doesn't it? <laughs> like I said, Maybe just asked if they were appropriating that of a hat for that match. They, they could have <laughs> added Sammy Callahan and it probably would have worked better. He's too busy doing WrestleCon stuff. He's too busy doing other <laughs> stuff right now. <laughs> anyway, back to you. <laughs> okay, Falabala and Beastman versus Brian Myers. And Swaggle, <laughs> Swaggle is still doing his thing. Yeah, that's great. I'm tagging with Brian Myers. What? Brian hey, Myers, who by the way is in like in, a, in like a heel faction over at TNA right now. So, oh I, yeah, yeah. But no Swaggle. No Swaggle. <laughs> I thought Swaggle retired. I thought he retired last year. Or Swaggle. Oh, man, you heard Swallow, not Swoggle. Ah, I said like, Swoggle. <laughs> I thought Swoggle were... Well, funny, I saw Swoggle on an indie show last year, and he was barely able to really move around much. I thought he retired after last year's indie show last oh. summer. So, like... Okay, this is going to be... The Sex with Your Next Ex Express. <laughs> oh, my... With Joel Gertner. That's the most Joel Gertner name for a tag team. That I've ever heard in my life. I couldn't even find out who's in the team. I didn't find out who's in the tag team. I was like, this tag team is too damn funny. That's it doesn't it even down. matter who it is. It's Gurton is there, and that's their name. I'm supporting them. Versus the new back seats, Johnny Cashmere, JP Grayson, and Tommy Grayson. <laughs> Amazing. Ama oh my God. Like, I maybe maybe I'm just the right age. I don't know, but I loved Gurton. I'm sure if he came out now, I would hate him. <laughs> you know, but back when I was like a a teenager and Gertner was on ECW, I was just like, this is the funniest, most crude thing I've ever heard. So I was actually trying to search for it and then not um trying to search. I said, well, yeah. by the way, you really have to word word my thing properly when I'm searching for the like that, by the way. If I know that <laughs> I word it very properly. No, I did it just popped up to the Battleground Championship Wrestling card and it doesn't actually have the name. So <laughs> there you go. So I'll, I'll, I'll do the next one. We have Back to the Collective at 3 p.m. And this show, it was not on my radar originally. And now I might just watch it. I, I, usually, I used to watch a lot of progress. I might actually go back and watch. I might watch the show. Uh, progress Wrestling, Chapter 165, Freedom Walks Again. I always love Progress Wrestling names of their shows, by the way. I always love them. <laughs> I love them. I love them. And loads of the people from, from Progress come here to Liverpool for our company, uh, TNT. So oh, I know cool. a lot of these from seeing them live. Yeah. So, all right, um, here we go. We have um, the, um, the I love the fact that they call it the Progress Men's World Championship now, by the way. I love that. I didn't know that until I was putting this card together. Um, King um, Kid Lycos versus Man Like Dreas. Very cool match. I'm looking forward to that. Um, the Women's World Championship, Riho. Is this the, which Riho? Is this the Riho for AW? Is this the Riho we talked about earlier? Which this Rio? is the one from earlier. Yeah. Okay, making yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Versus Lana Austin, who I remember Lana Austin. I don't know how good she is. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm upset. I... I'm, I've met her and I I, I felt really nervous because I love her so much. <laughs> Imagine this is the match I got. This is the match that actually got my attention to why I even was like progress. I'm gonna have to watch this show. Yeah, um, Kiki the little bur buggers, Charles <laughs> Conway and Alexis Falcon, defending the Progress World Tag Team Championships against Sanity, Big Demo and uh, Ac and and Axman Seitzer. Versus Sunshine Machine, Chuck Mambo, and TJ Cooper. I'm like, what? It's this. That's, that's going to be this? awesome. Because <laughs> last time I went to see TNT, I mean, Charles Crowley's on it every time, but Big Demo was there too. So I need to see this. <laughs> um, and then we have the Progress Atlas Championship. Um, Ricky Knight Jr. versus Yochi. Did I say it right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yochi. Ricky Knight Jr., is that from the Knight family? Yeah, that's an excellent know. question, actually. I think that I think they probably are. Yeah, uh, I actually don't know them. Well, they are. Shreya's brother? I don't know. I don't doubt it. I, I think we would have heard about that by now. I think we were. No, heard. I'm thinking I'll it's got to be. I'll double check. I don't know. I'm looking it up right now. I, mean, okay. I don't think you could call start. yourself Knight in the UK in, in English wrestling, knowing what we know. Yeah. Um, let's see here, Ricky. Yep, yep, part of the family. 
There you go. Totally part of the Jarrell's family. brother. Yeah, part Little of the brother. Twenty-four years old. Currently working for Red Pro, and obviously doing this show. I like the no eyes. There's too many of them. <laughs> Surya is oh. Zach's little brother. There you go. Um, <laughs> Seth and Mar- Seth, 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 bleh, Seth and Mas Martina. There's a name I haven't said in a long, long time. And Gene <sighs> Bunny versus Bussy, Effie, and Alley Catch. The Mellon. Oh, shit. Bussy's going to be on this show. Sweet. All right. Awesome. What What do I do here? Session Moth Martina is one of my idols. Met her. She influenced my stage outfit from a band and everything. I got light up shoes because she wears them. But she's up against Effie and Alley. I was my not, I was like, what? <sighs> this got announced literally I think, during Raw Monday, and I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is like oh. match of the weekend for me. I've got to I've got to go bussy. Effie, by the way, Effie to their his credit, always does match announcements for this during Raw because you know people are on Twitter. Yeah. So he's, he's smart. He's smart. He's Very smart with his announcements. All his for like Big Gay Brunch came out during Raw the last two Mondays. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, and Spike Trevitt versus Luke Jacobs is also on this show. Good show. I, I might actually have to watch this show because I, again, don't usually watch. I haven't watched Progress in a couple of years. I think it's the pandemic. I haven't really watched the Progress show. I'm going to have to go back and watch this. So, Well, and, and also, I think we brought it up one of the recent times I was on, but now Progress and Defy, they're kind of the same company. They're, they've linked up. So that that it's like a joint venture. So you might see people moving back and forth a lot more going forward. I'll have to Can see. We, I have to we, check we, to see if this show is going to be on um, Progress on Demand or on Fight. I or a thriller. I have to check because I'm not sure so, how the show is going. So it, it, it's someone streaming it through AEW and Ring of Honor. Well, that's mm. different. But all, they are literally one company. <laughs> no, that, that's an interesting point though, because normally Progress are very much about having it on their service. But if it's part of the collective, I'm, I'm thinking it's got to be on uh, on Triller. I'm gonna check. I'll double check that as we go along. I, I just realized I did not look that part up. I'll look it up real fast. But um, yeah, I take this. One. This is a short card from Russell Khan, Russell Revolver, and Russell Russell Glory Glory Wrestling. Wrestling Revolver and House of Glory Wrestling, title versus title. Santana, the House of Glory Wrestling champ, versus Alex Shelley, the Wrestling Revolver champ. Ooh. Yeah, that's gonna be a great match. I yeah. Uh, you yeah, know what? I'm excited for that. I, I, I miss seeing I, Santana, I, you know? I got to play favorites. I got to go with Mr. Shelley on this one. But that's, I'm just being impartial. Yeah. Uh, oh. Mustafa Ali oh. versus Amazing Red. By the way, that was the match that got my attention for this show with the fact that Mustafa Ali is on this show. I, I got my oh, attention. Yeah. And Anything then we have, he does, I'm into. So, yeah. Yeah. And then we have a Philly street fight. Steve Macklin with Killer Kelly versus. Charles Manson? <laughs> you can't call yourself Charles wait, Manson. Wait, wait. He let him out for this? <laughs> the guy is like older than dirt and he let him out for this? <laughs> Isn't he dead? <laughs> hey, I, I sort of thought, oh. like, what the hell? No. Wait, isn't there time out? Wouldn't there be a conflict that you're calling yourself Charles Manson and there is a person <laughs> called Charles Manson that's in prison? <laughs> Very famous person as well. Yeah, like everyone I mean, don't, knows. Don't, don't you think that someone would say, "You can't use my name"? I'm sorry. <laughs> Unless, of course, they're paying him to do that. I don't know. Which, it's possible. But... Unless it's this person's real name, and he's like, "Well, you can't stop me using my real name." Yeah, that's yeah, maybe. That's the other maybe. Yeah. maybe. Um. Okay. What's um? Let's die on my army. Where are we? We're going back to the Seven PM collective. PM. John. Let's have some fun here. Hell yeah. And I'm going like to I'm gonna go reverse order again because that's my style. I like to break it. convention. Spring Break 8. Go ahead. So yeah, Spring Break 8, which has a nice ring to it. Spring Break 8. Uh, we, we've got here Gringo Loco versus uh, Volador Jr. Sorry. Yeah, Volador. I was going to say Volador. Volador Jr. Volador. <laughs> uh, I'm the, Gringo Loco, I think I, he's fine. I'm not a oh, big no, Dad fan, loves but, him. But... Dad loves him a lot. So, yeah, like, he's okay. He's okay. Yeah, Gringo Logo is, is great. But then we've got something now that I'm very into. We've got the East West Express, which is Nick Wayne and, Ju- and uh, well, it says John Oliver here. It's John Oliver. Oliver. John, Oliver. Oliver. <laughs> John <laughs> Oliver's the comedian. <laughs> um, and uh, they're up against Speedball Mike Bailey. Um, uh, no, sorry. <laughs> I've messed it up now. They are teaming with Speedball Mike Bailey, is what is. I meant to say. And they're taking on the Rock and Roll Express and Kerry Morton, which is, that's, 
that's the craziest thing. Morton's son. It's the craziest thing I've ever read. <laughs> it was crazy for me to type. It was for me to type. I think that's that's why I, I went a bit like whoa, a bit off the rails there, and said to people in the wrong place because I was just like, I still can't believe this match. Here's the thing. I mean, Rock and Roll Express still doing this. I and you're going against younger guys. I mean, this is not exactly going to be an easy match for them. Either. This is going to be an interesting match. Yeah, I mean, it, this this is one of those things where and forcing team has to watch out because. Any bad bump would send these guys directly to a hospital. Yeah, yeah. Um, but they, I think they they know who they can work with, and they know Nick Nick Wayne and Jordan Oliver. I know they're both young, but they're both very seasoned. They've both been around right. GCW for a long time. They know what they're right. doing. They can trust these right. guys to you know look after them. Yeah, and Speedball, of course. I mean, you know, you know, he's got the goods. Oh yeah. Um, and then we've got uh, a match which is a bit of a sort of like a GCW. Kind of staple. If I was booking GCW, this is an obvious match, and I don't mean that in a negative way. But you've got Effie versus Mance Warner. Going to be great. <laughs> Going to be violent. Effie isn't afraid to get bloody. Let me tell you. And then one of my most favorite what matches of this whole week. It's a match. Like, explain the match to me, please. Like... <laughs> this is one of my favorite things of the whole weekend. I love it. I love it. Matt Cardona. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> He's taken on the one, the only. Blue cane. What the, what is this? Like I'm dead serious. Like, what is this match? Like, I've heard about this. I was very confused. And Sally was asking me, what is this? Like, I have zero clue what this is. Please explain. Have you not seen Blue Cane? No, that's why I'm confused. <laughs> right, okay. He's just a guy on the independence who for a joke, I think once came out. In a blue version of Kane's outfit, as oh blue God. Kane. I thought it is. Oh, and instead of minute. instead of fire, he's got the power of snow. <laughs> so, so, so winter's coming is that it winter's coming it's like that yeah so matt cardone is he's going up against the immortal blue cane blue cane's oh stronger than red cane oh my you know? lord so blue cane's like the blue ultimate cane version of cane he'll freeze you and glenn jacobs is not having a fit about this oh my lord somehow they're getting away with it. I think if it got bigger and bigger, they'd have a problem. I think because of GCW. <laughs> Probably because of GCW. Remember, yeah. remember, remember, Macaroni did a lot of weird shit like this. <laughs> There's a lot of weird shit. Like, so, I think this is the, the to my to my knowledge, this is the biggest platform Blue Cane's been on. It's normally been smaller than GCW. Oh my lord! So no we'll see. I, no I don't think I don't think you no could take him any bigger. I think you'd be getting sued. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> So if he brings the power of snow and when it comes into the mat, doesn't that make it a little slippery? Oh, my Lord. oh well, you'll have to wait and now, see. Now I... I'm intrigued. I'm going to have to definitely watch this show because I'm very intrigued now. <laughs> Blue Cane's great. You'll love Blue Cane. Uh, then we've got uh, Dragon Gate Classic, which are three of the uh, the old school guys. you got Yamato, Dragon Kid, and I'm going to have to say this American style, KZY. I don't sound right saying that, do I? KZY, is that what you're trying to say? KZY, yeah. What do you want to say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> against, KZY. Uh, <laughs> against Rewa New Generation, which is uh, Shun Skywalker again. Shun Skywalker, Shun Skywalker is the new Skywalker. Speedball. Well, Speedball yeah, always uh, got five matches, by the way. I didn't know that. Uh, uh, Shun's getting there. Shun's getting there. Uh, ben K and Kota Minora. So that's going to be a, that's that's quite a um, that's a very Japanese match in style, not just in there from Japan. I mean, their, their styles are very traditional. You know, that's going to be cool. Uh, then we've got. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is for this me. Was maybe. Just, yeah, this was just announced like yesterday. Like a little bit was announced yesterday. And I'm like, John's going to love this when he sees this match. <laughs> not only because of one team, but I love all four competitors, all of them. Uh, across the board so we've got maki death kill which is maki ito and nick gage great team i love the way that nick gage is just like he loves maki ito and he's like yeah okay cool i'll be in your team <laughs> sure. um and they're up against the dan Housen and ram kai chow who i love ram kai chow she's from uh, the japanese company uh 666 they're all it's basically like they're all evil it's a weird wrestling company. It's all like goth. It's like a goth sure, wrestling so, company in Japan. Yeah, sure, six, like, six, six. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> oh, amazing, so amazing. How many, how many fluorescent light bulbs would be broken in this match? Oh, oh, 
I think it's going to happen. Like, because people might think, oh, yeah, but with Mackie and Ram, it's not going to happen. No, oh, I no, think I know that. If you watch the Mackie, you imagine it's ECW. You know exactly what you're getting yourself into. <laughs> she doesn't care. She does not care. She's gone all in, baby, so to speak. What's funny about this match for me is I show this to Manny. He's like, oh, shit. Watch this stuff with me and she would say, I can the same way. <laughs> well, and I'm super excited as well, because again, even though I'm the world's possibly biggest AEW fan, I'll, I'll criticize them where, they, where it's due. Whatever they're doing with Danhausen, I don't get it. So I want to see him. Get him on cards like this. I don't know what I'm, is. I'm don't sick of not seeing him. What the hell are you doing, Tony? I don't want to sound like a conspiracy person. I think it's a punishment for being friends with Punk. And I don't like Punk either now. He's annoyed me. But don't punish someone just because he knows him. <laughs> Why else would they? They did that whole thing where they were at Halloween. It was like, oh, he's coming. He's coming. And then... Nothing. No, they made a big deal out of it. They made a massive he, deal of Dan Housen's yeah, return. He, I have him since. He, he's like he's like a moral support for wrestlers that you figure aren't getting over. Yeah, yeah. And I just I don't I don't know. Give him proper matches as well. He's a good wrestler. You're going to see it here again, oh, yeah. listeners. If you if know, you used to see him in AEW and you're interested, watch this. You'll see what he's really about. You know. What I, I would love to see is Dan Housen versus Orange Cassidy. So that would be a lot of fun. I think that'd be a lot of fun. All that could all make serious. an amazing yeah. feud. How did he not do that match when Cassidy was doing all those random matches as Continental Champion? Yeah. I have no idea. Like, why? I, I'm sorry. International Champion. I'm sorry. International Champion? I have zero clue. You this know? This is what you should have done when he was the International Champion. Danhausen mm-hmm. turns a bit more evil, like the Danhausen you see on the Indies, and they set up a feud between the two of them. Because Danhausen can be quite brutal. I mean, he often puts people's... He, he has a jar of teeth that he'll put in like his opponent's mouth. <laughs> wow. Like these this just all these loose teeth he's pouring. It's like ah. it's amazing. Better than thumbtacks. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah true. Well, it depends. So, yeah, it depends on how I'm into people. that. <laughs> Something else I'm into is the next match as well. Oh, this is such a good card. I'm so into this. You know, by the way, John, can I say something? I was very iffy about this show before we started the show, and you're selling me more and more as you oh. go through this. So like you're selling me on the show more and more. So I just want to tell you that. <laughs> Every match is a winner to me, every single one of them, because now we've got Masato Tanaka, mm. who I've loved since I saw him, you know, back at, Jesus, when did I, I tuned into ECW a bit late, but maybe like 99, you know, around then, I, I bought loads of tapes. So Tanaka and Minoru Suzuki, mm. what a team, hard hitting team right there. And yeah. they're taking on Rina Yamashita and Masha Slamovich. Which, what the wow. hell? <laughs> Whoa. So, I mean, you've got two hard-hitting guys. You've got hard-hitting women. It's going to be it's gonna be brutal again. <laughs> and how do you, if this is in order, I don't know if it is, how do you follow Mackie Death Kill? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, it's just, I literally put this in the order. I thought that was important when I put this together. So, like, okay, I, I, okay. I, I think you've got to split them up. You can't have... Because uh, that's going to be, like, violent with, like, weapons, and then this is going to be violent in a different way. I, I don't know. You've got to split them up. <laughs> Uh, but then we've got the GCW World Championship. You've got the champion Blake Christian with Shane Mercer in his corner, taking on Joey Janela with, with Missy Hyatt in his corner. <laughs> I did a double I, take. I did a double take on that um, one. I love that she's getting involved again these days. Um, though, you know, have have you gentlemen seen recent pictures of Missy Hyatt? I have. I have. She... I, but you know what? Though everyone gets older. With the throw it out yeah, there, everyone yeah, gets older. Yeah, like, but I mean. Back in the day when she was a hottie, and you know, now she's kind of like again. Now everyone gets older. I mean, come yeah. on now. Let's be honest. No let's shame. Be fair. No shame. Let's be fair. Let's be fair. Let's be fair. You know. Yes, and yes, I love I that know. she's still. Yes, she's yes. up for. A, she's up for it. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm okay, coming I, back. I, I did a double take. I'm like, is he Hyatt? Is he be a yeah. double quarter? I'm like, what? <laughs> and if yeah. it's Joey Janela's whole thing, I don't know. Like, he can he can big her up as like, oh, I've got this this legendary. Dare I say milk? Cougar. <laughs> yeah. Legendary cougar. That's no. it. We'll go with that. That's Derek better. Cougar. <laughs> oh, by the way, a follow up from earlier. The progress show is on Thriller. It's one of those oh, follow-ups. there you go. Earlier, I did double okay. check it and I had the Thriller app on my phone. And I just wanted to double check that. So okay. I'm gonna, I did that. You know what's interesting though? You're saying that. Will it be in the UK? Because of know. course, progress is. Uh, service is UK based, so yeah, now, I just, now I've got to look it up. Yeah, American based. I just looked it up real fast, and that is it is going to be on Thriller. On here. Thriller? Oh, 
I only want to know because I can probably I can I'm not gonna be able to watch it live because TJ's back in school, so I may not be able to watch it live live, but I can watch it later. And it's on thriller, yeah. good show. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> Don't worry, I don't watch most of it live. I have to always be on a delay. Yeah. Well, anyway, I, well, again, I, I I go back to work the day after Mania, so I'm actually going to be home. So any like, daytime shows, I have a better chance of actually watching live that week. So like, <laughs> well, let so. me confirm. Uh, if anyone is listening from the UK, it is also on on Trilla over here. You don't have to go exactly. to the progress. Exactly uh, done. Thing. All right. Okay. Um, let's move on to um, the secondary show. Um, hey, Dad, how do we take the other Battle Creek, the Battleground Championship show too? Well, let's take the other one too. Why not? All right. Battleground Championship Wrestling, a tribute to Extreme 2 Ooh. in the 2300 Arena. Yeah, I love the fact that they do the 2300 Arena. But, but hey, Ed, what's this card look like? And it's on RF Video. It's yes, we did that already. Jerry yeah. versus Super Crazy. Oh, my God. We're what? taking people that, I mean, we're talking decades. Yeah, uh, this is a card for me. Again. Versus Juventud Guerrero. I mean, what this is like WCW days. Holy cow! I, I figured you'd like this card. I figured you'd like this one. That's why I had to do it. Snow. Hopefully, he's brought head. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to. Versus what Shane Douglas looks like? and and Shane Douglas versus Fran with Francine. Oh, oh it's it's like that. ECW all over again. It is. Is that? It's amazing. I and love then I love Francine. Oh. Holy Ray. Devon Dudley versus Ashuti Oneida and to be announced. I know they did not, I just double checked that there is no partner officially announced with this yet. Maybe it's going to be a surprise. Someone, someone big, you know. Maybe it's going to be Spike Dudley as his partner. Oh ah. my god, that would be great. That Pull would be so there. cool. Oh. I was always a big fan of Spike. I, I loved all the Dudleys. You know, you had you even bring them all back. Big Dick Dudley, get him back. I there you go. He's dead. I thought he died. <laughs> oh, is he? Yeah, I don't know. Died. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know. Why did I say that? Because I remember during the ECW one night stand, he was part of the package of people that passed away. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I think reason. you might be right. The only about reason 500 I know. Dudleys, you know. Literally the only reason I know that because it was in that package, and mm -hmm. I remember off in my head. Bill Alfonso, holy cow! <laughs> yeah. this is Joel Gertner. Wow. I which, can't believe way, that. With a mystery special guest referee, which I'm like, who the fuck's going to be this mystery referee? Van Damme. Oh, my God. Sabu. Sabu. Sure. There you go. I can see Sabu. It's got to be someone like that or like, yeah, it's got to be because who else would, would be, fit with Alfonso? It's either got to be Van right. Damme or Sabu. Otherwise, he wouldn't get the Alfonso reference. No. Uh, and then we have Masiro Tanaka versus Rhino? Hey. Yeah, it's, oh, it's right it's doing right it. Right All right. And then, this is just an ECW show. <laughs> it feels like another yeah. night. <laughs> yeah, and the FBI, Little Guido, and Tommy Rich. Yeah. Tommy Wildfire Rich versus Samoa Gangsta Party. Samu and Lance on the way. Okay, so by the way, so I just wanted to do, I'm on the Balky Championship website, and I wanted to see if I can see if they announced a partner for the Team 3D show, right? Yeah. I found out more details about these two shows. They are going to be available to watch live and stream immediately on um, Title Match on Title Match Network. I didn't know this network existed, but apparently they oh. do shows having to do with 2300 Arena. And um, um, these two shows will be on there for um, the part of their package deal, which I'm trying to find how much that is, but it's $15 a show if you want to watch them individually. Okay. And I oh. to find the lie. I'm trying to find the membership price for the website, but like apparently it's on. Um, oh, 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 wow! Damn, it's only ten bucks a month. So ten bucks to watch both of these shows. Okay, so Bobby. it's going to be on that plus RF video. Well, RF video. It sounds like RF video is going to have the streaming after it's live, and then it looks like live stream okay. will be over on Title Match Network for ten bucks to watch both shows. Okay. So there you go. That's actually a damn good price. That's a damn good price. Nice. So. Okay, good. So move on. Let's go on to um Ring of Honor Supercard of Honor. Um, um at the um over on BR Live, unfortunately, still over on BR Live. But hopefully this is the last show, like AW associated on BR Live. Um it is uh the ROH World Championship, Eddie Kingston taking on Mark Briscoe. Mm -hmm. Um Athena defending the women's championship against um Hikurashida. Hikurashida! And um, the Ring of Honor World Television Championship. I don't know why this exists and why we need it. Um, Billy Starks versus Queen Amanana. Um, Dad, what do you think of these matches? Because I, I don't know. 
When did we have a women's television championship? They've been having a tournament, apparently, on the Ring of Honor TV show. No one watches. Why? I just asked the same question. Okay. Um, You know, they've been hyping up Queen Amandita a lot, and I don't expect her to lose. I expect her to have this, this new belt that they created. But then... What I would like to see is her to go further and challenge either Athena or Hikaru Shida. But my thing is, if you put the belt on Shida, isn't that like taking a step back, knowing that you were AEW Women's Champ? I know. It's a weird situation here because, like, you, you, you I, I have a feeling they're putting the, the TV championship on Billy Starks, mainly because she is aligned up with Athena. And then you can be like, yeah. well, they have championships now. Like, I have a feeling yeah. that's what they're doing here. We're okay. like, we start with the title and align ourselves with Athena, and they're both the champions. And I think why Hiroshida is on this card is because so they needed someone to wrestle Athena. Correct. <laughs> Basically, you know. But, um, but I'm intrigued by the Kingston Briscoe match because Briscoe was supposed to get a title match last year as Super Card of Honor, and then he got hurt. Right. He had a pivot. So right. now we're probably getting this match. Um, John, what do you think of these um, of these matches here going on? The three matches for Ring of Honor, Super Card of Honor. John, we can't hear you. He's take your shot. Can you now? Oh, we can. There you yes. Go. Oh, the, you, the cable can't hear you now. <laughs> yeah, we can hear you now. Do you have Verizon? Oh, Jesus, for that all day. <laughs> no. Um... I think, with, with no disrespect, I think now, right, because I love him, but now's the time to take the titles off Kingston. Like, you've they already got rid of one of them. Started it, yeah. So you might as well just go the whole way. Uh, Briscoe, he does deserve it. I don't just mean that out of sympathy. He actually, he does genuinely deserve this, finally. Yeah. So I think you've, you've got to give that to Briscoe. That, it's going to be a great match, though. It's going to be, you know. Oh, it's going to be great. Absolutely. I, I, I think no matter how it ends either way, there'll still be that sign of respect for one another. Yes. Absolutely. Which which is the ROH way. Or it's supposed to be anyway. You know? Yeah. They'll shake hands at the end. Um, Athena and Sheeta. That's an interesting one. Um, I don't know where it came from or why, but like, uh, you're having it apparently. <laughs> like maybe there's been built. The, the only problem is I don't watch ROH except for pay-per-views because no, I, I would watch it. Like, I've probably said this before, AEW, if you're listening, right, this might only apply to the UK. Include it in AEW Plus subscription. I'm not paying a second subscription. I'm already paying money for AEW. I'm not paying for this as well. Put it in. Include it. Even if you add another few pounds to the cost. Because I would watch it. <laughs> like, you know, I would be a loyal viewer. Oh, no, Bonner, we, I tried Ring of Honor when it first launched. It's two hours, and it's like a nonsense, like, squash matches most of the time. I'm like, uh, I don't have the energy it. for this. I don't have the energy for this. Oh, it's a bit annoying, but at least Tony, you know. You know, if, if Tony Khan is listening, you know, if you're going to put out your product, put out a good product, but as consumer and customers... You want to make it reasonable where you're not paying, you know, yeah, double to have something that's where you can just get together. You know, totally. it makes no sense honor, to pay two. Honor. You know, on the, on the, on the Instagram page, they just announced another match for the show, a fourth okay. match for the show, which, okay. oh, never mind. This is not for that. Never mind. Disregard. Disregard. This is for uh, right. uh, Sorry about that. This is well, um, not for that. Never mind. Good to do. I am excited for the match, though, because they, ROH always still deliver on pay-per-view. And you know these two are going to have a great match together because mm-hmm. they're both fantastic. Um, and apparently, even though I've not seen it, Athena's been even better than normal. Oh, no, I've heard great things about Athena. I've yeah. heard great things yeah. about her. Down. It's a shame she's under the paywall. It's, very, it's the same she's behind a paywall. Absolutely, it is. Oh, so she's make... the only Honor champion not on, uh, not on AWTB. I have no idea. Ah, oh, it, it's it's <laughs> nuts. Um, I mean, my my first thought would be, Athena retains. Yeah, you know, I, 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 Shida, I mean, you can't yeah. have Shida be the ROH champion. That's weird. Exactly but maybe right. now is the time they're trying to transition Athena into AEW. Maybe. I don't know. It'll we'll be a weird time to do it now with all the new people coming in. So I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a tough one, isn't well, it? Yeah. And well, then would uh, you, have you know, Athena having... against Athena against Dana Perazzo? I know, but my whole point is though, like, it's weird to bring her up now. When you just brought in Diana Prazo and you just brought in Mercedes and you have all these new people, but you get lost in the shuffle. 
right now. Yeah. So maybe hold off for a little bit. Yeah. Um, I, lo- I love what I'm hearing about this women's uh, TV championship tournament, though. Like that, that like, was well, a great are, idea. But like, why? Why do we need a belt? Why do we need another belt? Like, uh... oh, I, it would be fine if Ring of Honor really stood on its own or existed or existed. Yeah. Well, <laughs> because what I want them to do, even if they have actually, no, here's what I want them to do. Okay. And they did this temporarily. They should be the complete opposite of AW, as in they have a, a base, you know, like NXT used to do back at uh, Full Sail. Yeah. And, uh, do. TNA do used to do. They still do that. And, 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 TNA, and NXT is at the performance center to this day. There you go. It's still there. It's still there. That's what they should do with Ring of Honor to give it a totally different vibe. Not, not film it. At the AEW show, that's stupid. I agree. It's because not. It's you, not helping. If, if you want to keep that mystique where Ring of Honor basically is like quote separated and its own company, then yeah, I agree with you. You have to. Have they were some doing sort of that for a little while. I know they were. They yeah. started doing that, and then they realized the price was too expensive for that kind of a show to do it at the MGM. Then find somewhere else to do it. Like somewhere, it's not a different home base. I'm with you on that 100. percent I come with you on that 100%. Because you've got to differentiate it. Because it basically what it appears to most viewers is that Ring of Honor is now just AW Dark. Exactly what it and is. And it's not, but yeah. that's what it looks like. <laughs> it feels like. And you're paying for like. it. <laughs> no. All right. Let's, um, let's move on back to the collective. For the culture, 11.59 p.m. I always crack up at this time. Nice. <laughs> can't say midnight. Do it one minute before. <laughs> oh, no, can't say midnight because the midnight will be Saturday. Yeah. It's still a Friday show. Um, who wants this one? John, you want this one? Oh, no, no. John, I'm going to give you the next one. I'm going to give you the next one. The next one is up. Oh, yeah. I'll give you the next one. So, um, you know what? I'll, I'll run through this one fast. You, you, you do it there. I'll, I'll run through it real fast. Um, okay. Man Mike Garbus versus Sonny Kiss. I, I, I'm intrigued by Sonny Kiss being on this show. Awesome. I mean, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Um, I wish they'd got to do more in AEW. But... Yeah. Uh, Billy Dixon versus Darius Carter. With um Darius Lockhart as special guest referee, I don't know what any of that means, but okay, cool. Um, <laughs> um I, again, I wrote this down because this is I cracked up typing this out. The Pan African World Dystopia Champion Wrestling Championship. It's great, yeah. Doug D versus Alex Kane. Um, two cool Scorpio versus the front man Jazzy. Sure, why not? Scorpio, Scorpio's still going. I can't believe oh, it. Yeah. Um, yep. um, Maya World versus Jada Stone versus Jocelyn versus Navarro versus um, I was doing so well. Um, Mazarin Mas- Mas- right versus Jada Kai versus Tyra James. That is happening. Um, and the Kings of the District, Eli, um, E. O'Neill and Jordan Blade versus the main event, Duke Davis and John Jones versus the Chameleonaire Club. I, sharp versus Luke and <laughs> thick and juicy Brooke Valentine and Faye Jackson. Take a breath. Thick wow. and juicy is a great name. I actually yeah. always like this show because uh, not only is it great that they're you know highlighting uh, you know people of color and things, but they often bring in a lot of wrestlers I don't know. So you get to discover a lot of new people, and they they pepper in some ones you know like I know Billy Dixon, I know Sonny Kiss, I know Man Like Darius, you know I know Scorpio. Most of the others, oh, Junai Kai, I know, but most of the others, I'm like, no idea in a good way. Mm-hmm. Well, that being said, let's jump over to Saturday, 11 a.m. at the Collective. Um, one of the, the show I literally put on here, I'm like, John's doing this one. It's obvious. <laughs> one and only, Effie, Big Gay Brunch 9. Go ahead, John, go for it. Yeah, big. I can't believe it's at 9. That's what, Are they counting the UK one in the numbers? I don't I, think they I are. I don't think they are, but I know they had them. They had that one on the Royal Rumble weekend, which I still haven't watched. It's on my to-do list next week to watch that before this show. So, is that the one I went to last year? No, no, this is different. This actually did one in the U.S. on WrestleMania. Oh, on, in the U.S., okay. On okay, Royal okay. Rumble weekend. I remember weekend. So because they're coming back here apparently soon to do another one in the UK. So, oh, so way, will that I be? I actually have a match on here that's not on here that they just announced like literally oh. like, hours ago. So let me see if Ooh. I can type this in here or not. Um, you know what? I'll put it in as the um as the match after the Pharaoh match, so you have time to get there. So go ahead. Yeah, do it. Do it. So we've got uh, some people I actually don't know again, but again. Much like the previous one, I love this. So we've got Monomoth versus Aaron Rourke versus Rico Gonzalez versus Devin Munro. I know Devin Munro quite well, uh, not personally, but you know, as a fan. 
Devin Monroe's great. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be excited for that. Devin against some people I'm uh, unaware of? Hell yeah. See, for me, that's actually most of the show for me a lot of times. It's like, I don't know some of these guys, and I really enjoy the show for it. So That's the thing. You discover new people. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got Team Paro. Right, and I met Paro last year, and he'll hate me saying this, because his gimmick, you know, he's evil. He's horrible. In real life, he's one of the nicest people. I thought that question. <laughs> well, I, 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 think, I said the same thing when I met Kevin Steen. Uh, he was the top heel in a moderate. The heels are the nicest yeah. people on the planet. Like, they are yeah. the best guys in the world. Like, yeah. Absolutely. But his team, so it's, it's him, obviously. Paro, Adriel Noctis, Angelo Carter, Junie Underwood, and Keita against Team Poyo, who they're managed by Poyo Del Mar. Uh, that's Alex Mays, Don't Die Miles, Karam, Ron Bass Jr. and Ziggy Haim. There you go. I mean, that's that's going to be great automatically because I mean, Paro's always good. He's got an eye for talent. Poyo's always good. She's got an eye for talent. You know, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a hectic one. It's going to just be chaos in in a great uh, fashion. And now two more people I love. This is just people I love right here. Jamie Lynn Senegal, who I'm obsessed with. I, I love them so much. They are the um, they call themselves the daughter of Daphne. Because that Daphne was their mother, fair enough, essentially. Fair enough, fair enough. Not literally, but in a in a spiritual I'll sense. I'll go with it. <laughs> so Jamie Lynn, Senegal, and Edith Surreal versus the Rumway. So I mean I'm picking Jamie and Edith because I love Obviously. them so much. <laughs> then we've got Sawyer Rack, who I also love, against Max the Impaler, who you know I also love. That's, which is that gonna be all over it. <laughs> it does. This is gonna be this is going to be hardcore. This is going to be brutal, bloody, like crazy violence. And then we've got someone who's in my picture behind me right now, actually. We've got Dark Sheik against Sunny Kiss, which is a perfect, perfect combo, I think. Oh. I'm, I'm very excited. For that. Dark Sheik's one of my favorites of all time. I'm, I was I'm, intrigued I by this match. I'm like, this is going to be a good match. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Hell yeah. She's, she's always good. Uh, and then we've got as well the GCW Ultra Violent Championship. Of course, they do this. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Billy Dixon's the current champion. I actually forgot Billy Dixon was the current champion. And they're up against Rena Yamashita, who Rena is uh, evil <laughs> in, the, in a great way. That's going to be another bloody one. And then to round things out, which I assume is probably probably the main event. But I, I don't know. I'm doing the same thing. I'm looking at the same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because not just because you've got Effie in this match, but because of who they're against. So you've got Bussy, Effie, and Alley Catch, of course, who are also behind me right now, against Dirty Breeze, which is Tyler Breeze and Dirty Dango. Hell yeah. Dango, who, by the way, is absolutely hysterical. Dango is absolutely hysterical on TNA right now because it's like, I hate professional wrestling. But then he puts on a fantastic match against Jeff Alexander. I'm like, sure. Uh, <laughs> are they going to come out to their wonderful theme with, you know, like the. I'm intrigued, I'm very intrigued how they're going to get around this one and do this right. I'm very intrigued by it. You know, how they're going to pull this off. Well, you know what? He's a completely different character in TNA right now. So I'm very intrigued. To this day, I'm still sort of upset about the way Tyler Breeze's career went. Because, you know, I, I was a big fan of his from NXT. Great in NXT. Great. I followed him all through NXT. He was one of my favorite characters. I thought he was so... F- he was funny, but he had the goods. And they believed in him. They put him up against Jushin Liger. I know. At Brooklyn Show. At Brooklyn Show. It was amazing. And then to see what happened after that, it's I have heartbreaking. If, if Tyler Breeze was coming up now, in the Triple yeah. H era, he'd be fine. And it's only Maybe... included with the character. I think that's what happened. There's been nothing to do with the character. You know what? Never say never. He could come back. I know he's oh, he's yeah. a little bit older now, and he says, oh, I don't want... But never say never. CM Punk went back to WWE. <laughs> Here's the thing that happened this year alone, in the last year alone. <laughs> exactly. Every week something insane is happening. So it could happen. Oh. Uh, huge fan of everyone involved in that match. I'm excited. And we saw Dirty Dango at the Collective last year doing crazy stuff with like Alley Cats. <laughs> exactly. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Last yeah. Year. So, all right. We got, only have a couple more shows left. Collective 230, uh, GCW versus TJ, TJPW. This is going to be fun. Um, yeah. Yeah. Again. You know what, John? You better pronunciation. <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> 
I feel a bit biased because not only do I watch it, but I did study Japanese for a little while. So we have Rini Yamashita, Masha Slamovich, and Maki Ito versus Miyu Yamashita, one of my idols, Shoko Nakajima, and Yuki Aino. There you go. Ooh. I mean, normally I would pick that team because you've got three, you know, TJPW. Maki Ito is representing GCW. I know, it's crazy. And, and the lining up in Masha, I'm like, wow. <laughs> That's wild. I can't wrap my head around that. Like, Mackie, what are you doing? Don't betray your roots. How could you do that? <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> I also love it, though. It's going to be it's going to be great. Because Mackie, as you've seen earlier in the cards, the cards, plural, wild, yeah, is, a wild, tag wild. Team, is a tag team partner of me and your master. So it's a bit like, oh, okay, tag team partners against each other. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> um, we've got Billy Starks and Jenai Kai versus Rika Tatsumi and Miu Watanabe. Sure. <laughs> I, I mean, Watanabe's great. I, I really like her. Um, I mean, I like it. This is, an, this is the problem. Anytime it's TJPW or GCW, I'm just like, yeah, I like everyone. Exactly. <laughs> all okay, okay. <laughs> all good, all good. Um, this is an interesting pairing. I wouldn't have thought about this one. But they are both super violent. I've said violent about 20,000 times tonight. Um, Sawyer Rack is teaming with Ali Catch to take on Mizuki and now Kakuta. Now, I don't... I haven't watched every GCW show, don't get me wrong. But I don't recall Sawyer Rack and Ali Catch teaming up. I'm, I'm kind of I've never seen it before, person. I've never, no, seen, no, it like, I've never this, seen it like this before. This is probably be a, the first team up. I've never I seen so. I never seen, I, I I follow I follow in the background. I don't watch every show, but I do follow along with the cards and I've never seen them team before. No, same, same. But they both have a similar tendency. Like I remember one of the first times I saw uh Ali Catch, I think she was she like literally pulled a knife on someone in a match. Oh, <laughs> which is a very Sawyer okay. wreck move. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say that sounds pretty normal for Sawyer Wreck. <laughs> yeah, she'd do that. She'd do that, you know. Uh we've also got Shazza McKenzie versus Arisu Endo. Gonna be gonna be an exciting one. Uh, th this this one I'm I'm into. This next one I think is gonna be a kind of fun one, a bit silly, a bit kind of over the top. You've got Steph Delander against Hyper Masao. By the way, Steph said, Delander. I don't know if you heard her interview over on um, Chris Van Bleet's podcast. Oh no, that was a really good interview. It was a really good interview on Chris Van Bleet about a couple months ago. A couple months ago, it was really really good because she got to talk about like her leaving WWE and and her and Matt Cardona's relationship and how we got here. So like, it's, it, it's been like a reinvention of her. She's been fantastic. But yeah, definitely listen to that if you haven't. It's a really good interview. Oh, I'm checking that out. And this this one, I I mean, obviously, I don't know. I'm not an insider. But I'm going to tell you right now, I think this is going to be the fun one. They're going to do ridiculous things. Because Hype and Masao always just does the most over-the-top stupid stuff. So it's going to be it's going to be a laugh. You're going to have fun. Um, Now, this one... I'm I'm so I'm so torn on this one because we've got two of my favorites in the world. We've got Dark Sheik against Yuki Kamifuku. Uh, Yuki Kamifuku is one of my most beloved human beings on the planet, <laughs> but so is Dark Sheik. Um, I would never have paired the two together, so I'm kind of um, excited to see how they gel. Very different styles, um, totally different. But sometimes that works. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we've got Session Moth Martina against Raku. This is going to be another fun one because Session Moth, she can go, but she also has the fun side. And Raku, her whole shtick is kind of like, it's a bit of a, more of a comedic kind of thing as well. So I think this is going to be another comedy match. I think this will maybe kick off the night. It's going to be, oh. uh, going to be a good one. So, all right, let's um, wrap up the collective over on um, 11.59. Joey, right after WrestleMania night one, Joey Janela spring break. Plus for fuck forever. <laughs> it continues. That says it all. There's only two matches yeah. announced. There's only two matches announced. And I'll, I'll go from the bottom to the top because they're so stupid. I have to say it from that way. The GGW Tag Team Championship in a Punjabi prison match. Yeah. That's not a joke. That is a thing that's happening. 
Uh, why not? Why not? Wait a minute. Didn't we have that with the great Kelly at one time? It is the great Kelly's match. This is his match. Yeah. Um, last time he started with Jinder Mahal versus Randy Orton, I think. It's the last time he started his match. <laughs> um, why Mahal, did they even do it a second time? Because <laughs> it was Jinder Mahal versus Jinder Mahal. And he, and he wanted to do it. Um, violence is forever. Actually, no, that was three, they did three different matches, Giant Prince matches in WWE. Because originally it was supposed to be great. Kelly, and he got replaced by the big show because Kelly, got, Kelly had some issues. And then they had the second time to actually have that match happen, and then they did it again with Jinder Mahal. So they did three. <laughs> you know well, what? I'm not a fan of Carly's wrestling. Because let's be honest, he wasn't the best wrestler. But I'll, I'll give him some credit. He made the most of what he was given. He yeah, was like, so, okay, yeah, I'll give it a go. Why not? Miles is forever versus Jacob Fatu and Zilla Fatu versus the Bollywood Boys. Sure. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> this is... Versus um Los Man um Los Mexico's sure why not that's the match and then the match chat is gonna take up the entire show because I know how this goes it is yep. the eighty eight man plus for fuck battle royal match eighty eight men not a joke or an exaggeration and the only people that are currently announced are Buck Benzer and Dink of Dink and Drunk the Clown <laughs> the thing is what, you know what, is Swaggle gonna be in here to basically offset Dink. I'm dead serious. I watched one of these matches I last year. This is the, one of the weirdest things you'll ever see. It is the cluster, so, legitimate clusterfuck in the name. It's completely dead serious. But it is. Fact, last year, didn't we have? Um, didn't Buff Bagwell come out? Yeah, he did. He did. Yeah, <laughs> and and if I'm remembering, didn't um... Maven was in the two last year? Maven was. Maven, in yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's who I was thinking of. Uh, oh. Wait, was John Ross happened at last year? <laughs> yes, yes. Which okay, so, you know what? Okay. You might think, oh, this is a bit a bit silly. It is. But it's the it's the end of the weekend. It's, it's, Everyone's it's a bit right drunk. It's midnight. It's not so, it's not so, yeah. so basically, you're gonna have eighty eight guys. They're gonna and come in and out of the ring. If I remember it right, it was pinfall submission over the top rope, leave the building, and death. Those were the five simulations last year. <laughs> what if you have to go to the bathroom? You leave the building. You're down to the match. You leave the match. You're down to the building. <laughs> but those are the, I remember that because like, did you say death? Did you say death? <laughs> 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 I'm like, what? I couldn't remember the Invisible Man was in this match last year, too. Like, yeah. It yeah. So it's fantastic. Would it, would it not be inconceivable to say that Sammy Callahan may... Everyone's going to be in this. Everyone that's available will probably be in this match somewhere. <laughs> I, th I think any GCW wrestler, especially, who isn't worn out, will be like, yeah, I'll come in. Cool. Well, Mike Bailey will be in here. <laughs> Speedball will be in it. I guarantee. I, I'm betting right now. I'll bet you $50. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's um, finish up on Sunday afternoon, and I will have to have this one because it is... The uh, 2024 Independent Wrestling Hall of Fame. This is the class that is here for now. Dad, why don't you tell everyone the class that is currently announced for the Independent Hall of Fame? We have Trent Acid, who will be inducted by Johnny Cashmere. We have the Briscoes. I'm not sure who's going to. Yeah, as, of, yeah. as of now, there's no announcement who is inducting them yet. I literally just looked it up as we were doing the last card okay. to double check. Who, who Kevin, do you think it might what, be? I don't know. I was torn on this one. I was torn on this one, too. Like, I'm not I sure. Would, what if, and I know this is going to be a big what if, but since... You know, the Briscoes had a great feud with the Young Bucks. Or maybe oh. FTR. Maybe FTR. Yeah. yeah. Like that car, like um, Cash. Cash, yeah. look at the Cash and Dax. I'm like, that would be interesting. Oh, that yeah. would be great because that was like the last big feud. Exactly. That was their last big feud. Like, I just thought about that. Yeah. Like, FTR, the first person, the first, literally the first thing that came down was FTR. Yeah. The first thing yeah. that came to mind. Yeah, so. you can do that. So, and then we have Kevin Whackpacker Hogan. I don't really know this name. I, I know the name, but I don't no. I've seen him wrestle. So I'm not sure on this one. Like, I, John, I, I, it doesn't ring a bell. 
and I don't mean that with any disrespect. It's probably well, no, same here. Like I just uh, like, but I don't know. Like, but I, I also feel like you can't be in wrestling and call yourself Hogan. I'm sorry, you can't do it. You can't do it. It's it's wild. It just makes me think of Horace Hogan, and I don't want to ever think of Horace Hogan ever again. <laughs> and then we have the OG Steve Carino being inducted by his son Colby Carino. Oh, that was announced, that really was announced like um like during Dynamite. That was announced during Dynamite this week. So. <laughs> See, I'm into that because I, historically, I'm a big fan of Steve Carino to the point where yeah. when I was like 17, and, all and, my, and, my wrestling characters I made on video games were yeah. modeled on Steve Carino. <laughs> and here's the thing with Steve Carino is basically you can pick his brain and he has some wonderful ideas. I, yeah. I, did, yeah. I interviewed you know, him, actually. I interviewed him once. Yeah. Oh. I know, and, him, so. You know, he can, he can come up with some really – Strange things and still make it work. Maybe I'll find you know, the interview and put it up in an archive. The next time we tend to we need a week off, I have to find an interview. I know I have it somewhere. I just gotta find it. Yeah. yeah. See, he's someone who I think, again, you know, I'm the biggest fan ever. But if you want to improve things even more, if AEW had a Steve Carino working behind the scenes, just be, oh. yeah, he gets to have the ear, just to have the ear. He, it's yeah. so good. Like he's such a good wrestler. Like straight up, and he was yeah. a really good mind. Like, we got yeah. to see him at a bunch of Bring of Honor shows back when he was, like, with scum and all that kind of stuff. But, like, he can do so many show. different styles. He can do, like, everything. His, you know. his creativity on storyline is just spot on. Yeah, you know? yeah. But, yeah, we were friends on Facebook for a while. We're not friends on Facebook anymore. We were friends on Facebook for a while. <laughs> but, um, oh, did, did he do a purge? <laughs> probably. I mean, I did. I just checked full fat. I wanted to see if I could find a picture. I have a picture of me and him from State Fair. Hey. He did he did the Wisconsin State Fair one year and I have a picture of him there. I just can't find it at the moment. But um yeah, that was we like I said, we have a relationship we, we, we like I said, he was on the podcast on this podcast one time. So like it was a really Incredible. cool deal. So I got that well, if, of honor back in the day. If he ever comes on again, please do tell him that all of my video game characters of me were based on Steve Carino. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is WrestleMania weekend. All the non WWE stuff. That was a loaded weekend. I almost feel like there's almost less shows than last year. I, I think like this was, was this, we shows. went through this quicker. I think there's less shows. Yeah, there yeah. are less shows than last year. Well, fewer <laughs> shows. Let's get the English correct. Yes, my, my, yeah. my God. It's all right. I do it. I do it. Just remember the eleven fifty nine start time. I know they yep. that always makes me laugh. Like the eleven fifty nine start time always cracks me up. Because it's like I know why you do it because then you can hear the shows on the certain day. Like it always cracks me up every Correct. Day. So That's all right. clever. Okay. On that note, let me hit this. So Sal is not here. For more information on our show, including where you can find us on social media or watch the show on YouTube, go to the com. Don't forget to comment or leave a rating and review, and we will read it on the show. And then we will hit um, Wanted Man by Downstate, which is, is um, Nick Nemesis' theme music. So we'll close out with that song here. Why not? And um, I will actually let's just throw it right to um, Dad. Say your thing. Go. Hey, as always, if you have a local wrestling independent net association, company, network, whatever you want to call it, that is in your, an area where you live at, please patronize these people. These are the young men and women coming up in the world of professional wrestling, sports, entertainment. And you can't have the superstars you have today while having these people that are starting in like ground zero, trying to work their way up to a major wrestling organization to get to that brass ring to be a future wrestling superstar. But they need your help to do it. They want to show you what they can do as far as the moves their gimmick, their promo, the whole package, because they want so badly to entertain you, to get your attention, and the more attention that you give them, the better chance to move up into a major wrestling organization. So please do this, but do it, act like an adult, be responsible, don't be an asshole when you're at these matches, because, you know, we all have to get along. It's out in one world we got, so it's a better place if we all get along together. So please do this. All right, John, get your plugs in one more time. Go. Ah, you, you're used to hearing me talk. So if you want to, if you want to hear more of me, though, I mean, check out my podcasts: Bat Minute, Miami Minutes, Hedvig, Inch by Angry Inch, or um, 
I don't know. Why don't you check out the band I'm part of, Pete Bentham and the Dinner Ladies? But you, it's very English. You might be confused. <laughs> um, tomorrow here on the feed, you will be hearing me, Dad, and Sal previewing NXT Stand and Deliver, WWE, the WWE Hall of Fame class, and WrestleMania 40. And ironically, we'll be recording that as this show drops. And literally at the same time this show drops on Wednesday, we will Whoa. be recording. So this, all you're listening to this, we're recording a WrestleMania show. So tune in on, I should say, actually on Friday. I said, remember, we're dropping us on Wednesday, not Thursday. So on Friday, listen to our WrestleMania preview show. So we will um, see you then. Thank you, John, as always, for coming on. We'll see you for Dynasty. Pretty much. We'll see you for oh, Dynasty. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. We'll see you then. Um, so I'll be here tomorrow. I mean, on Friday. I'm like, I'm Mark. And you've been listening to the Blake and Sal Show with Mark. Have a good day. Hey, we love you guys. Be safe out there. Be responsible, too. Thank you so very much. Goodbye. And good night. Bye-bye, bitch.